In this video, I want to talk about a common request that I get from a number of different people about their FileMaker solution. And it's easy enough to demo this in FM Starting Point, which is what I'm doing. So I'm here in a copy of FM Starting Point, and I'm going to click on Contacts or Invoices, I should say. This comes up mostly with invoices and maybe jobs and projects up here. And what they want is that as we create new invoices, um, this is kind of the default way it works. I'm, I'm pressing Command N or Control N, and I'm just creating new invoices, just so you can see how this number sequence. And the request is that they want the year to be included in the invoice number. In fact, they really don't need the INV. They want the year to be there instead, the current year. And so this is pretty simple to set up. I want to point out that, uh, once again, I'm explaining this to everyone with the expectation to some degree that you have my FileMaker Pro video training course, which guides you through all sorts of stuff. But I want to add this one specific thing there. So we have ID invoice. ID invoice is a primary key. What do we mean by primary key? Well, it's a field in our table that is getting serialized automatically and it always has a unique value. And that's what we use in the relationships to connect things together. So if we go over here and we take a look at uh, invoices right here, this is T12 invoices, this ID invoice field right here is super critical. It's probably driving half of these relationships in here pretty easily. We have videos that talk about how this is structured and why it's structured and why it's so organized. And the reason it's organized is we're using Anchor Buoy, which we have videos that talk about that. So ID invoice is always going to have a unique value. Um, if you go over here to ID uh, accounts, it's going to always have a unique value over here. So ID account is right here it's always going to have a unique value and you can see all these lines kind of glom up right underneath it that's because these primary keys drive most of the relationships so what I want to do is I want to take a look at the ID invoice as it's currently constructed in FM starting point and this is very typical for most database systems here is ID invoice right here and it's a serial number INV with a number right here FileMaker is smart enough to ignore the text and then keep incrementing by one the number that's on the end. So how do we take and put the current year in here? Well, really we have to have a calculation, but there's no room to put a calculation in here. And then we could put the calculation down here, but you really can't mix a serial number and a calculation together at the same time on the same field. It would seem that if you click on this that you can mix both of them together, but not really. If you could get it to work, I would be worried about it being fragile. So let me just give you the concrete, solid way that this should be set up. So first off, this is the primary key. It's going to continue to be the primary key. At the end of the day, it's really going to be kind of a calculation. So we need a different field that is a serial number field. Does that make sense? So I'm going to, trust me on this, this will make sense in a moment. I'm going to create a new field called ID Invoice Serial. And so... The request I have is that the invoice value looks like something like 2016-0123, where 0123 is the invoice number. And so that's what they want this to look like. Now we've kind of got the 123 part down. I could get rid of the invoice right here, and then we have that serial number, but we don't have the year, so how do we do the year? Well, step one, we're going to create a new field called invoice serial. We're going to transfer the serial number management from this field here to this one here. There's a reason we're doing this. Trust me on this. Don't cut the corner on this or you're going to burn yourself and break your database. So we're going to transfer the serial number management from this field to this one here. We're simply going to say this is the new serial number and it can start at whatever number we want. Okay, there's 1000. Okay, Then this field here, we're going to change it. It's not going to be a serial number field anymore. It's going to be a calculation. Now what I want to do here is first get the year number on here. So what this calculation needs to do is it needs to combine the current year with the serial number that's from this other serial field. So this is going to be once again the ID primary key but we want a year and then a unique serial number. So we know that there is a get function. We, we talk about this all the time called get current date. This right here returns the current date. It doesn't return the year. So if it's February 5th It'll say 2 slash 5 slash 2016 or 2017. 
but the year is in here so that's a good start so we what we need is something that will extract just the year out of that date and there's a function called year of all things and this will extract the year out of a date so we take this right here I copy it I cut it I paste it in here so it's nested so this function right here will give us the year okay pretty cool so if I say okay I say okay I say okay I go to browse mode so now this is um, our ID invoice which is just that calculation which gives us our year I say new record it gives us our year right there the problem is every record we get has the same value so we need to add that serial number on there so the good news is is that we defined right here the new serial number that would be running automatically for us notice that I started off with 1000 a second ago and then I created a bunch of sample records and so it's keeping track of that it created nine records so down in the guts of this thing it kept track of the fact that that serial number was changing even though we didn't see it on screen it was still running under the hood very cool so then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go up to my ID invoice which is our primary key once again I'm gonna say here's our calculated result year and then I'm going to append so it's appersand and then space and a quote so I'm gonna put this little dash in there I mean you could put any symbol in there you could put five dashes or a star or whatever I'm just gonna do a simple dash and then I'm going to reference the field we created the serial number field right so I go over here and I say ID serial number so there you can see it's gonna glue the year a dash and the serial number together for us the other part of this that's important to point out is I got this checkbox checked right here do not replace existing value if there's any in the field and the reason we want this on there is that if there is a serial number in here we don't want it to change because as you add items in here everything is attached relationally to that serial number and if you go up here and just change it you're hosing yourself you're breaking the relationship you're destructing your database that's not good but when we create this uh, calculation it doesn't retroactively change things remember we said it's not going to retroactively change things that's basically what that checkbox says so the old ones that are in here they just basically need to be deleted so I need to go through and delete these nine invoices that we have in here because that's just asking for trouble now if we go back through here we'll see that we have unique values completely unique in all ways right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the very end and I'm gonna say new record new invoice and bam there we go so the year is 2016 and this is 1009 and then if I do another one it's the next one and the next one and the next one when the year changes this will change automatically on newly created invoices okay and the number continues on so it's sequential so you can always sequentially see where these things go so in 2017 it'll change automatically in 2018 it'll change automatically it's a pretty easy adjustment to make so this is a fairly straightforward process we've shown you how to do it step by step and it will automatically update itself for next year now as a side note another request I got from people who are emailing me asked me that when the new year started like we went to 2017 or 2018 that the count here on the right side would start over at 0001 and we discussed it offline actually in another conversation with the individuals and we went round and round about it and there's no really simple safe way to do it without risking the database and I'll give you a brief explanation of this in order to reset this you actually have to write a script that's going to reset these for you okay and the problem is is that that script must be run like clockwork the very first thing in the new year and if you forget to do it and you run it later which you'll be inclined to do you're going to run into a possible situation where you could have duplicate records in the database with the same primary key which is a felony no-no in database land it causes bad things to happen for example if you have two invoices with the same number up here then the line items won't match the dollars won't match we're talking screwed up to the max so understand that is a request that would make sense and if it was a high enough priority 
an advanced developer could script it in a safe way to make sure there weren't going to be problems. But from a simple sort of throw together like what we've done tonight, there's no real simple safe way to guarantee that these numbers will stay unique. So there's no simple safe way to reset the serial number part at the first of the year and guarantee that these records will stay unique. There's no easy way for that. So we've shown you how to make it so it automatically adjusts year to year. The serial number on the right side will continue to climb and will be unique with this method. So that's it for now. I'll catch you in the next video.